Good day and welcome to today's webinar, uh, Applications Performance Management for Mobile Applications. Uh, my name is Mark Laird uh, and I work for Steria in the UK as a pre-sales technical consultant specialising around DHP Software Suite. Uh, next. Today's webinar is brought to you by the uh, Vivit Business Service Management Special Interest Group, uh, led by myself, Mark Laird, uh, Jim Copio, Denver Mix, and Sandy Schubert, and also the Vivit Mobile Special Interest Group, uh, with leaders uh, Brian Pohl, uh, Todd DeCapitua, and Pridor. Next. Uh, so myself, just a quick introduction. I've been in the IT industry for uh, since 1988, and I've worked for IT service providers for the majority of that time. Uh, my roles have included pre-sales, networks, uh, operational delivery, and technical consultancy. And I've been responsible for evangelizing the use of HP software within Steria uh, over the past five years, uh, and have deployed solutions such as BSM uh, into our areas, uh, such as Steria Norway. Next. Our presenter today is Kapil Kahl. Uh, he's the Director for Operations Products Business for HP Software. Uh, Kapil is the, uh, he's responsible for the development of the HP Operations Software Business in Asia Pacific and Japan region. Uh, he has extensive experience in designing IT business service management solutions for small and large enterprises. And he's based uh, in uh, Gurgaon in India. Next. Some quick housekeeping. Um, today's live session is intended for all Vivit members. Uh, we are recording the session and it will be posted onto the Vivit webinar section uh, on the business service management and the mobile SIG pages uh, on the Vivit website it, and it will be visible to all members. Uh, additionally, today's slide deck and webinar recording will be made available to you and we will send you the link via email once they're posted to the Vivit website. Um, if you have questions as we go along, uh, Kapil, can we have the next uh, two slides, please? Um, if, we have, if you have questions as we go along, uh, please type them into the question box, um, and we'll uh, either ensure that they're answered as part of the webinar, or we will uh, collate them at the end and uh, forward on answers. So with that, I will hand over to Kapil uh, for what hopes to be uh, an interesting webinar. Kapil, over to you. Kapil, we cannot hear you. Uh, Kapil, you're muted for some reason.
We're working out the technical difficulties here. Please bear with us here. And Capel, I still show you. Oh, there, Capel. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Wonderful. Yes. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened in here. I just okay, got you back. Okay, we got you back. Great. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you very much for the introduction, Mark. And uh, uh, it's exciting times for all of us today. Uh, we are at the time when uh, key developments are happening in IT. There are three big disruptive forces around cloud, mobile, and DevOps. Cloud provides us the ability to offer services anytime, anywhere, through various different means which have been enriched by the ability of smartphones or mobile devices to provide services to anyone, anywhere. What is also important today is that the whole lot of these services have changed the way development teams and operations teams work together. Because as businesses use more and more IT services to reach to their consumers, development is happening at a much more rapid pace than it was happening in the past. And therefore, it is bringing itself closer to operations in order to be able to make changes in production and receive feedback. Gartner predicts that in 2015, there will be a four times the number of mobile devices than there are PCs uh, in the world. In fact, about 85% of the applications out there are now being developed uh, which are cloud ready. Also if you see in terms of uh, the technologies, in the customer's new world there are a number of technologies that are ch taking shape on account of this rapid cycle of application development being driven by cloud and mobile. A diverse set of languages are being used to make applications fit for the device that are consuming the application. Some of the platforms uh, that are next generation platforms bring in complexity for IT today in the way they are managing this entire landscape. Be it platforms like Spring, uh, Node.js, or the underlying platforms like VMware, the Windows Server, and so on. So more and more technology innovation is also increasing uh, complexity for the operations teams in terms of keeping pace uh, with making their people uh, understand these technologies and manage them. I want to pause for a second and consider the major trends. In the last few years, uh, uh, due to the change in the way IT is being uh, consumed from an enterprise or data center centric view to a mobile or a user centric view, you all know these trends well and can probably understand the statistics as well as I can. Mobility, as Gartner predicted, is uh, growing at a rate which is outnumbering uh, PCs by 4 is to 1 by 2015. Our own survey of customers have uh, most predicting a tenfold increase in the frequency of application released over the next five to seven years. Framed by these trends, the need for instant elastic environments is driving virtually every enterprise to some mix of local, private, public, 
or what we call the hybrid environment. Transaction volumes are increasing uh, by the day. And the cause and the effect among these trends is also relatively clear. Mobile apps drive the frequency of release because users expect a regular stream of new app capabilities. And this is uh, also driven by the fact there are newer OS versions coming in there which also drive uh, uh, the release of applications at a faster stream. And the new need for quick provisioning and quick deployment uh, coupled with the explosion in the cloud services uh, drives the enterprises further and further into the cloud which gives them the flexibility. Transaction volumes correspond to a world where we are not just interacting from 9 to 5 from our offices. Today our services are available 24 cross 7 across the world. What is interesting is that all of this, the user, in all of this, the user is the first mover. It's easy to forget as we get lost in this huge world of mobile that we are undertaking virtually all of this to meet the user's desire, desire for constant access to fresh features and applications running at a level of quality that delights the user. Mobile business applications have a value promise to make. The need for mobile applications uh, is seen by business as the one which drives revenues, which increases customer engagement, improves customer loyalty and satisfaction because we can have personalized communication with the customer, support em employee and process efficiencies, and eventually it should bring down the cost of application modernization, which would mean you need to have the flexibility in your environment to be able to get better visibility in mobile end user experience. So all of this would eventually mean that businesses need to have almost clear line of sight between the application and the end user experience that it is driving. But it is not coming at uh, so easy for end users. The new style of IT uh, or the users, the way they are consuming IT are demanding constant ability and immediate response from the mobile services that they are using. Building these new services is requiring combination of existing and new technologies. When integrating all of this to form a new service experience. For example, in the case of banking application, it could actually scale from a traditional mainframe server, which is there in the data center, to most modern banking uh, mobile banking applications which is delivering the service at the end user. Therefore, the reliability of the service to the end user is becoming even more challenging because there are too many technologies involved. The traditional infrastructure or the resource-based monitoring solutions are not able to capture the end user experience properly. They may know the availability of the infrastructure, but they are not able to capture the end user experience. This means that some new user-centric monitoring approach needs to be introduced to secure good end-user experience. We need to know without actually being intrusive, without actually having to put up a huge infrastructure, we need to understand how the end-user experience is against these services. But why does it matter? you know, other than the promise that uh, applications bring to business. There are many things. Statistics say that 
9% of shoppers who are dissatisfied with a website experience are less likely to buy from the site, same site again. Now look at it from a point of view of a mobile application that we use today, whether it is to do e-commerce or even uh, conduct our daily business through banking or social networks or email and so on. More and more, we are less likely to, to use an application which does not perform at a certain level of good experience every time we use it. We probably will switch from the application. And from the point of view of business, we might as well switch from the vendor to some other vendor who is able to give me a better experience on the application using mobile. For the business, it's important that these perf applications perform because it directly relates to the revenue. And having a good performance application would mean that the number of people required to monitor and maintain the entire infrastructure would be lesser because the application is delivering under a certain SLA that we are guaranteeing. Gartner defined about five dimensions of application performance management. It starts with end user experience, which is understanding the experience of an end user by simulating or using robots to simulate the way the end user is actually using the experience. By understanding transaction and profiling the transaction, which is monitoring each and every transaction that goes through the infrastructure from the front end end user all the way to the back end. Deep diagnostics of application, which is understanding up to the code level to which particular code has been causing a slowdown in the application response for the end user experience. Being able to discover the applications and how they interact with each other is also called the discovery and dependency mapping. And finally and most important is the ability to predict that a certain business application is going to experience uh, end user performance issue uh, in advance before it actually impacts the end user. So these are the five dimensions that were defined and HP fits its solution exactly in these five dimensions uh, to offer end user experience monitoring for mobiles as well. Now when you take this to mobile, pinpointing a root cause of slow mobile application is not easy. You have a service in the back end, a set of series of them, and a carrier which could be either an internet service provider or a mobile carrier, and there are a number of them depending on where the user is at the given point of time. And then you have the app which is hybrid in nature, right? It could be running out of uh, any of the different devices that the end user could be using from major vendors and also using different technologies or browsers to access the application. In the past, an IT department would dictate how they would like to uh, deliver a service. They would define the PC, the operating system on the PC, they would define the browser, the version of the browser, and they anyway had a control of the backend system. All of this was simple for IT to dictate and they used to call it a standard. But today, with the concept of bring your own device and mobiles, this whole experience of delivering the IT service uh, has become very complicated. HP has been developing the end user monitoring technology and solutions for more than 10 years for our customers. As you may be already aware, through our technologies like Business Availability Center, which is now called the Application Performance Management, APM Center, 
We provided the capabilities to synthetically monitor the end user, understand deep diagnostics, do transaction profiling, and also uh, understand uh, from a point of view of the underlying infrastructure whether anything is going to be wrong to our prediction capability. Now we are leveraging that technology foundation and expertise to introduce the mobile monitoring solution to answer the challenges of the new dynamic mobile service monitoring. Capturing the end-to-end -end user experience and the ability to report and monitor the service levels accurately. Uh, these are the core for HP monitoring solutions today. Today HP can provide you the insight to the mobile end user experience by stimulating the end user transactions from various locations, either via web services or over the air mobile networks. This end-to-end -end insight over the mobile value chain forms the baseline to your service level agreements which provides you a good understanding of the normal behavior of the application service. The second approach to complement the mobile monitoring is to use real user monitoring solution uh, to capture the application level details of the end user experience. Uh, real user monitor is a fine grained application level data that provides you the breakdown of each end user transaction by device, location, and application. All this new data can be used in reporting the mobile application user performance. But also analyzing the application usage and user behavior over time. The insight can be used to develop and optimize the mobile application and the functionality of the mobile application further and support the continuous service improvement initiatives. We are poised to take an advantage of the mobile explosion uh, with the introduction of these such services. Our customer United Airlines, as you know, it's a huge airline uh, with very complex network. Uh, they introduced their mobile uh, application which provides their customers multiple services as they interact with the airline. Currently they are rated one of the best mobile applications for airlines in the United States. It was important for them to make sure that the brand perception of the mobile experience is the highest in order for to gain their customer mind share. In last summer, it took them close to four hours on average to resolve events for mobile experience. Their goal was to improve availability and reduce the time it takes to fix the issues. The HP solution that they deployed was HP application performance management for understanding the end user experience which provided them the ability to monitor the infrastructure using the site scope solution for server monitoring, the business process monitor for synthetically transaction, uh, synthetic transaction monitoring and finally the ability to do mobile monitoring. From four hours to resolve the events, their resolution time is now closed down to about five minutes. And within eight months, they were able to realize the business value of this solution. Yet another customer in banking domain is Garanti Bank in Turkey. They have close to 40 million uh, banking users uh, and a whole lot of them are using their mobile banking application. Uh, their initial challenges were similar. They wanted to detect and resolve potential problems quickly. 
in fact they were interested in understanding the trends of the end user experience and solve the future problems uh, before they actually even occur the solution that they deployed was the HP application performance management solution their improvements were dramatic about 80 to 90 percent reduction in problem detection in fact their CIO uses the APM dashboard as a dashboard to monitor their business services and they were able to maximize the performance of the bank's business critical application both were internet and mobile which resulted in generating very high level of customer satisfaction these two case studies that I showed you are available in detail we do have videos also available on our website which I will point out to you later at discover we announced new mobile application monitoring technology we are actually poised to take advantage of the mobile explosion with a broad set of solution offerings across both proactive monitoring as well as reactive monitoring with our native mobile application monitoring we provide the ability to probe uh, applications on Android today and iOS in future with this we will be able to wrap native applications and mobile monitoring applic mobile applications and monitor them uh, for performance device stats for all users and devices we launched the probe for Android in discover in June will be launching the probe for iOS later in 2011 2012 13 the other area is our SaaS mobile application monitoring which provides the ability to do a synthetic over the air capability to monitor mobile application we are adding mobile carriers uh, points of presence to approximately about uh, 10 points of presence around the world in our SaaS data centers this enables uh, both our uh, on-premise customers who are using on-premise solutions of APM and our uh, SaaS based solution called the performance anywhere customers to proactively monitor their mobile applications from external points of presence across the mobile carrier so they get a view of how uh, the experience of this application is across multiple different carriers and finally uh, the user flow analytics it provides us the ability to understand the flow of traffic across uh, the infrastructure as the user is using it let me get in a bit of a detail across all of this when you look at the real user monitor for native Android apps the problem it is solving is the lack of visibility into how mobile apps are performing because the applications are native to the phone with the probe we can understand the version of the application that is residing on the handphones the type of the protocol that is being used the device the operating system and the version of the operating system this gives us the baseline information that is needed for us to improve the real user performance and the KPIs that we provide over there is the response time the availability of the service and the user analytics which includes the number of users the functionality used and the functionality that goes unused
analytics is yet another domain which we believe is pretty uh, advanced requirements for mobile application monitoring. It provides the ability to, for us to understand how the real user sessions actually flow. There's typically a difference between how we actually define the application versus how the application is used in real world. The flows provide us the capability to understand them and this is based on advanced algorithms used by HP Labs. These flows can actually be translated back into our uh, VUGEN engine script which can be used both by synthetic monitoring or by our testing applications that test uh, the application using uh, load simulation against them. Okay, so moving forward, analytics has different personas that and want to understand the data in a different manner. From a business point of view, they would like to understand the common patterns of users and their behavior on the site. It can also be used to track and define the SLAs that the IT is delivering to business. From a monitoring application support point of view, discovering the most common user transactions so that they can actually redefine the transactions that they want to monitor using real user monitor. The most important transactions, how they are being used. And from a testing point of view, which is our performance center of excellence, they use this data to understand how they can generate load based on the real user behavior on the application and not an hypothesis which they make based on their understanding of the application. So different personas would understand their data and need it differently. Our ability to offer SaaS over the web um, and carriers gives us the ability to understand whether it's the application or is it the wireless network in between which is causing the problem. This solves a long, big problem for IT which is constrained uh, the fact that they do not have a visibility into the operator's network performance. By simulating the application at the far end of the carrier network, uh, by simulating the end user, we are able to break down the performance by location, by operator, uh, by application, performance over network, server, and the backend infrastructure. Which means that for the IT, it's easy to identify whether the problem lies within the network side or is it on the IT side in the data center. HP has rolled out a large global infrastructure based on our many SaaS data centers across the world. We have many points of presence uh, in the region and and gradually we are introducing the over-the-air mobile location via different carriers across this network. So APM for mobile, which is application performance monitoring for mobile, provides multiple benefits to our customers. It's one single solution that can be used in various different ways. For proactive monitoring by synthetic simulation over the air networks which is from multiple locations. Real user monitoring for performance and understanding the mobile carrier from which the data is coming in. The real mobile device uh, and the type of device that is consuming the application and also understanding whether uh, there is an abnormal behavior in the way 
the users are using it or the volume of traffic that is coming in. And real, eventually the real user monitor for mobile which allows us to instrument the application, approve the application on the mobile device and not just the browser through which we are picking up the experience but the real application which is native to the mobile and collect all the experience for each real user. So three different solutions provided uh, for end user experience monitoring by one single APM for mobile solution. We have provided a whole host of this information available uh, at our site uh, hp.com slash go slash APM. You can download a very nice white paper which is written uh, about the five mobile application monitoring two truths that IP must know under mobile application monitoring breach business possibilities. It's a white paper which explains the challenges around monitoring mobile applications. And we have a trial of a running for our HP Performance Anywhere, which is our SaaS-based solution, which allows you to try the application against your key services uh, for a defined period uh, for free. Uh, that brings me to the end of my presentation. Uh, Mark, back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Kapil. Um, are there any questions from anybody? Uh, there are no questions online at the moment, but uh, does anybody have a question for Kapil? It, it doesn't look like it. Um, Kapil, thank you very, very much. Um, if we could have the last slide, please. Um, for those of you who've attended the webinar, uh, there's a, uh, a chance to win a, a $50 uh, Amazon, it's, a, yeah, it's, an Amer it's an Amazon gift card, I believe, um, by opting in to hear more from HP. Um, so if you, you can opt in as part of your, your registration. Uh, if there's no other questions or if questions come in uh, later on, we will uh, pick them up and, and forward them, uh, answer them and, and forward them back. Uh, but. Uh, Thank you very much, Kapil. Thank you for, to everybody for attending. Uh, I hope it's been useful to you. Um, I look forward to, to seeing you on the next uh, the next webinar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.